Hello, uh, my name is Jake. I'm uh, an artist with the comic 2000 AD and I just wanted to show you um, how I put together a page uh, for Dread. And um, so we're at the thumbnail stage here and I'm just sort of like just putting things down really, just ideas. Um, you can see from the thumbnail uh, preview up in the top uh, right corner that um, I've reduced the page down really, really small, and it's just regular pens I'm using that, uh, so they come out quite large. And uh, you can see below that I've got all my layers, and I've got a layer per panel, uh, which allows me just to sort of edit things around really easily. So I'm just sort of roughly positioning things and, and seeing what I can do with it. Um, it's quite a simple page. Um, I think it's only three panels and it's not that texty. So there isn't sort of like um, too much to really worry about other than just sort of trying to make it interesting. It's only sort of fair to point out that I'm I'm using quite an old Mac and um, it was groaning all the way through this. Um, so I've not done anything like this before. So uh, it, it does skip about a bit and um, I'm afraid sort of like all of us knocking on, it's sort of showing its age a little bit. So there's sort of two figures in the in the third panel, and uh, I've made a, another layer um, just to do the next figure on, just because it allows me to sort of like move it about a bit and just see if there's any more interest. And I flip the canvas sort of horizontally, also vertically sometimes. Just um, it just keeps the eye fresh and, and sort of shows you if uh, any glaring mistakes and and if it's sort of like um, sort of balanced. I did this page um, quite a while back. I think it's just sort of um, been published. Um, so it's a little bit difficult to remember what the hell I did, to be honest with you. But um, we'll see how we go. And it's sort of worth pointing out that since that time, um, I still do it sort of similarly, but it's not quite how I do it. But we'll we'll sort of get to that when, we, when I um, put up some inks which will be on a, a next part. And so here I'm blocking in, you see I've got a separate panel, a uh, panel, separate layer for um, for blocking in. And uh, the panel, uh, the layer itself is sort of reduced down in opacity so I can still see the line underneath it, um, just so I can, which I can use as a guide. And the idea of doing this is just to sort of try and marry everything together and you sort of slowly kind of creep up on it. And of course I've edited out um, all my tea breaks, so um, it'll hopefully run a lot smoother.
You'll also notice in the thumbnail preview in the top right that um, there is some text there. And what I do is I paste uh, the script onto the page itself so I can refer to it all the time. Um, which means I don't have to sort of print out pages because all this stuff is sent to you over email. And I've, I've tried to sort of work as paperlessly as possible uh, just for the sake of um, the tidiness of my studio. And you'll see that I've, I'm just sort of blocking in and carving out. And you'll notice that the sort of um, direction of the blocking out on the shoulder of dread there is roughly the sort of direction that I want things to run in. So um, it doesn't have a lot of detail, but it is just sort of um, notes and information. But all the detail will get added on in the sort of um, next stage, which is a sort of uh, combined um, pencil and inking stage. So once again, just trying to sort of make sure that there is contrast and um, things sort of can knit together and still remain readable, which is um, obviously quite important. There you go, I'm just leaving a note to myself that there, there are feathers there. trouble is you do this stuff and you know like everything you, you just sort of it's an absolutely brilliant job and you you love it sort of intensely as you're doing it um but as time moves on by the time you've gone on to the next piece you sort of look at it and think bloody hell really <laughs> and sort of like revisiting it now it's it's a bit similar So as I say, the, the next part of this will be um, sort of inking this up and sort of finalising it. Um, I will hope to be putting up some of my um, colour stuff, how I paint my covers and stuff if there's interest. And um, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we'll get a nice sort of little series going. And, you know, we'll see how we go. If there is anything you particularly would like to see... Um, do get in contact, you can get me through Facebook or, or Twitter or whatever. However you young kids do it these days, I'm sure you can find me. So I think this is probably like the final little tweaks or layout. And then I imagine I'll be um what I tend to do is I collapse all the layers down on, on themselves and that becomes my thumbnail. You can see I'm doing that there. Uh, turn it to blue and then expand it up. And that is my rough, and that's my starting point for for doing a page. I hope that's been interesting to you and um, we'll see how we do on the next one. Thanks very much.